Alexander uh, Dubokikov talking about Homer 7. Okay, thank you. Um, it's exactly so. Uh, uh, who we are? So we normally it's QXIP company is located in Amsterdam, and our mission is exactly working on Homer and everything what related to uh, capturing system. And uh, we are all, all uh, open source family, and uh, each year, and especially in, uh, last year, we joined us, us a lot of uh, new people. And we are very glad uh, what our team is growing up. And we are also very glad to see what uh, we are working together with uh, in other open source projects like OpenZips, Camaelio, uh, Janus, and etc. It's uh, all, these, uh, all, those, all these projects, it's uh, already on page. And we will be happy if somebody of from this auditory will join us and help to 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 make uh, make homo uh, better so homo is still alive don't worry so it's exactly because uh, probably uh, not too much uh, was active development on home homo uh, git uh, repository but this not means what we not work it hard on a new next version uh, because exactly we are self-sponsored uh, project and exactly we have time uh, to do some some uh, commercial support and we found time to to work on the uh, next uh, next generation of our projects but uh, of course it's uh, unfortunately it's only 24 hours in a day uh, we have and uh, it's always <laughs> not enough but we are working hard and uh, now what is uh, now I would like to, uh, to present what is exactly what we did what is Homer if nobody knows about Homer, we can go to zipcapture.org and uh, where is a lot of information, a lot of um, slides, uh, what explain about what is Homer. But normally it's two words. Homer is a capturing uh, system which uh, uh, be able to, to or help you to, to make uh, troubleshooting, um, uh, to find uh, which calls was not successful, uh, to see statistics, etc., etc. Uh, and of course, it's already implemented this HEP protocol, what we use in Homer, it's already implemented in very popular open source OSRP projects like OpenZips, Camaelio, Asterix, FreeSwitch, Janos project, Mediasoup, etc. Uh, so, what, why Homer 7? Because its last version was Homer 5. It's a long story, but in short, uh, Homer 6 has been exist. And we almost was uh, ready to, to make it like a release candidate or better bet testing. But it always came new ideas because we have, ah, Lorenz said, ah, let's implement this feature. Let's implement this feature. And uh, it was released MySQL 5.7, it's JSON protocol, and et cetera, et cetera. And so many features we have implemented and always delayed a new release. And therefore, we have uh, checked and we see what we already jumped uh, with version 6 and we are ready to, uh, to release Homer 7. And uh, what is exactly, what is HOMA 7? From on this slide you see what in HOMA 5, we have some features which is now is a point. And in HOMA 7, uh, we completely redesign uh, system. We simplified installation, uh, move some parts which is not uh, needed anymore. Uh, we switch it to modular configuration. We have more agents. Uh, more possibility to capture uh, data and to, to store it in the Homer. We clean, uh, wrote new documentation core, uh, new protocol agnostics, and etc. etc. We have also distribution correlation using external uh, GANSDB. Uh, we also are ready for RTCP stuff like WebRTC, uh, RTC stuff with WebRTC, and etc. And of course, uh, it's a new interface which uh, still in development, but uh, I am explaining about uh, this later. What is the agenda? So uh, our uh, goal is capture everything, correlate, and export every, everywhere. With, in full pictures, what is Homer 7? Homer 7 is now split into two, uh, two main components. It's one component is Home Core, and another is Home Metrics. In Home Core, you will see it's Camellio, OpenZips, uh, it's Write to Database, uh, UI, Home Metrics. It's exactly, uh, we have some statistics we have to export somewhere. And exactly, uh, next page I will explain about uh, Homer uh, Core. Uh, it's completely, it's really completely new. Uh, first of all, a new API. If you remember in Homer 5, we have PHP, which you can use in Nginx or you can use in uh, Apache. Forget about it, it's dead. 
So we completely uh, redesigned it. We uh, wrote from scratch based on Node.js. Webpack, everything is works. Uh, you can use it uh, uh, in uh, like in web sockets. You can exactly to get some some uh, special information from uh, web uh, Node.js. You can exactly attach to uh, different databases, uh, to different systems, and etc. About uh, new DB schema. Uh, if you remember, if you use Homer 5, you know what we have some tables. You have to create tables, rotation, and so etc. And this is a pain, yeah. So especially if you need to some uh, special fields, what you have to to pass zip messages and so. Forget about it. It doesn't exist anymore. You have now normally it's schema less uh, design. We use a uh, nice implementation what we uh, did in, uh, in uh, MySQL 5.7. It's JSON type of protocols. I will explain it on the next, next slides. And of course, we have new uh, HEP types. Uh, it's, for example, OpenZip, ScanSend, Error Camellio. They have also supported these new HEP types using event sockets inside. You can exactly implement it, uh, uh, own HEP type to send to Camellio or to OpenZip, and it will be automatically uh, inserted. And uh, HOMA metrics. Uh, in HOMA 5, we have internal, uh, statistic, internal database statistics, which we, uh, we wrote everything in the MySQL database. And um, we designed what not Im uh, implemented the view. And uh, now we discarded it. It's uh, HOMA statistic doesn't exist anymore, how you know. Uh, and now we export all data to in, uh, external, data, uh, external time series databases, like InfluxDB, Prometheus, Elasticsearch, etc. You can exactly use any type of, the, of this. Uh, nice uh, time series database for statistic. You can exactly use Kibana. You can also use uh, user interface uh, charts widgets in uh, Homer uh, to to get this data and display it uh, in user in user interface. And of course, it's flexible. It's not means what if you s uh, select and uh, make choice only for InfluxDB, all data all data will be, all go to InfluxDB. If you need some to uh, exactly to export some statistics to different database, you can exactly move, um, use um, uh, simultaneously to, to exports. And for example, uh, with Pastash application, what we develop, you can get uh, statistics, make some alarms, uh, you can do some analysis, and also export to, to any databases what you prefer, or even to store to file and do an, uh, post analysis. Uh, have, uh, about HOMA 7 in uh, agents. We have a lot of new uh, implementations, especially it's a uh, uh, big thanks from Eugen Bigler uh, from Netcolon. Uh, he implemented a new uh, GoLang based uh, application. Uh, it's called Heplify. It's, it's, uh, it's now it's static, so it can be run in any um, uh, distribution, so it's uh, not need to, to, um, to link it to um, um, libraries, external libraries. And also what he did, he implemented Oracle fix. If you know, if you use uh, or Oracle ECMI database, uh, or ECMI SBC, or it's Oracle SBC, you know what they use in internal um, monitoring system uh, and for, cap for uh, the zip, uh, zip message duplication. And now you can exactly using Oracle fix, you can say uh, Oracle, uh, please send all, all messages, please duplicate to Oracle fix, and it will be uh, automatically converted to HEP protocol and stored in home. So it's normally it's drop replacement for Palladium. If you have Palladium, you can throw away, yeah, and you can install Homer. And of course, we have a lot of new, um, uh, in, in Pastas, we have also this HEP, HEP implementation. We have exactly uh, to export data to any types of um, uh, engines, and exactly Elasticsearch, Kafka, Oracle as well, uh, ZeroMQ, and et cetera, et cetera. Homer core. Exactly. So here it's uh, a question about, because everybody says, ah, Homer, it's SIP, or SIP plus RTP, uh, RTCP. But now this, uh, exactly, from uh, what came, came from uh, Janus uh, project from OpenZips, they, they generated now custom uh, protocols, uh, because which is not, uh, not standard. And also, we, all these protocols is based on JSON. In this case, it's, uh, we decide to go away a little bit from ZIP, uh, way and uh, make it uh, universal. So now uh, you can send uh, in HEP. You can send any uh, your uh, your own custom protocol, which will be automatically recognized like uh, HEP types and inserted the database with schema OS design. So this means what you have possibility to to create your own protocol like it was in Janus or oh, five minutes. Ago. Okay, I have to go to uh, quick. Uh, exactly how it works here. It's uh, uh, we receive HEP, uh, we, uh, HEP agent do the sectors, we have JSON payload, 
we have heptide, uh, JSON schema, home API, and so on and so on. But I will jump to the next one because I don't have to, too much time to explain. So how it looks, for example, we have implemented for DNS because exactly in, uh, in uh, voice IP, it's always a problem uh, to see if it was a normal request DNS and et cetera, et cetera. Here, for example, it's hep um, Heplify, just listening for uh, DNS packets. Uh, get with packets does uh, uh, JSON dissectors and send with uh, JSON uh, in using HEP protocol to Homer. And uh, this data will be stored in a special table. You see here, it's table uh, HEP proto 50, uh, 53, uh, uh, 53, exactly, it's port of DNS. And we have some uh, fields HEP header where we uh, store JSON uh, uh, information about HEP. Uh, source IP, destination IP, etc. Protocol header, what we will be exactly all I, uh, related to IP, uh, what's type of UDP, 17 uh, or TCP, and or V1, uh, tag, tagging and, and, and so on. And of course we have uh, payload cell by self, which we can exactly use later to, uh, to make a search uh, in, uh, in this table uh, for Google, for example. We, we, we're looking for uh, we have zip, uh, zip uh, session which uh, call to Google, for example, yeah, here. And exactly, we can uh, make a relation uh, if it's a request for Google or DNS lookup look up, was uh, successful at this time. And, uh, but, uh, of course, it's, uh, you, you ask, ah, but this is uh, f uh, full, uh, full scans, yeah? So, in uh, JSON protocol, uh, in uh, MySQL 5.7, you can also create virtual, uh, virtual fields, which will be, can be indexed. And you can uh, use index for, for search. It's, it will be on your demand. So, if, for example, if you have a lot of uh, data, what you can uh, looking for, for from user or uh, request array, you can exactly create virtual um, um, index and uh, use it. And here, for example, how it uh, looks uh, Janus or media soup stuff. So Janus uh, switch uh, sent uh, uh, sent this pro uh, special protocol, and we can store it in database, and uh, it will be automatically without any headaches. Uh, can be immediately start uh, for, uh, for searching. And uh, of course, it's also possible for the C protocols, uh, for all what you know already implemented in, in Homer. Uh, here's an example how it's ZIP uh, looking for. Yeah. So, and about statistics. So, like, like I said, we did um, a lot of work to make uh, Homer metrics uh, modular. For example, Camaelio, we have exactly, uh, we split it to different modules, and you can just activate it using define functions, and send this data to InfluxDB, to Elasticsearch, uh, or, uh, I don't know, to, to Prometheus, if you want. And uh, exactly, you can use InfluxDB, you can use uh, Grafana, HornGraph, uh, you can use Capacitor, you can make some alarm detection, anomaly detections, you can uh, generate uh, also uh, alarms for fraud detections, and, and so on. Sorry, it's not too much time. And here is exactly how to Elasticsearch um, uh, looks uh, with data. So it's already, uh, we already, this, this, this um, Homey metrics is already uh, exists on our, our repository in GitHub. So you can already download it and use it already uh, now. And of course, about Homer UI, uh, like I said, we, it's uh, still in development, but uh, it should be ready uh, in next month. Uh, so it's completely redesigned. Uh, it's uh, use uh, also Webpack. You can exactly minify, uh, make minify version, uh, and uh, it will be load fast and quick. And then thread, it will be looks like uh, here. It's example um, a statistic which uh, loaded from Inf InfluxDB. It's not internal statistic anymore. It's uh, from external statistic. You can exactly in widgets you can create. Uh, uh, data source which will be request InfluxDB and uh, Node.js will be get this information and put uh, back uh, back JSON statistic and which will be displayed. Okay, it's time is over. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So <laughs> I was quick. I am sorry, but I skipped some slides. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's not too much time to explain, and probably Lawrence can do it uh, much quicker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. <laughs>